Okay guys, so let's say I was just starting Forex trading. Here are some things which I wish I knew when I actually started. I've been trading now for over four years. And let's say I was starting from scratch tomorrow as a brand new trader. What would be the, the things which I actually wish I knew when I started that a lot of beginners don't actually know. So coming from a profitable full-time trader, here are the things which I actually think a beginner should know before they start trading. We're gonna start with a simple one and it is how much time you actually have to put into trading. I see a lot of people online, they basically say that you can learn to trade one hour a day or 30 minutes a day, and you can make it a new side hustle where you're making extra 5K, 10K per month. But obviously this isn't the case. If it was that simple to just put in a small amount of time every day or every week, then everyone would do it because the amount of money you can actually make with trading is unlimited. It's not like a business where you have clients there and you have a certain market cap where there's not enough clients to actually get to a certain level with trading is unlimited you don't need clients you don't need customers you don't need any of this so if it was that easy then everyone would get into trading the main reason why people think this is because of social media when you're back testing your strategy and you actually start getting into trading properly you're going to be spending a lot of time on the charts and it's going to be a lot more than you initially thought you'd have to spend on the charts but I do feel like this is the best way to actually learn how to trade. Not really something I did at the start of my journey. I didn't really spend enough time backtesting, which probably prolonged the learning period. But once I realized that if you repeat something enough, it will eventually get into your mind. That's when I started to make so much money and so much progress in my trading. Seeing the same setup over and over and over and over again, it means that subconsciously, as soon as you go onto the charts, you are seeing this setup. You are seeing the trade if it's valid or not whether it's a good time to enter whether whether you should just sit out and just look at the charts and be like okay i'm done for the day there's no active trades for me to potentially look at getting into or the trades that i'm actually in just by doing the same thing over and over again this is how you will eventually see this sort of thing when you're actually looking at the chart a lot of people actually ask especially in youtube comments or instagram dms they'll ask me questions that are basically asking how much time they need to spend on trading to get profitable or to make a certain amount of profit. But this is kind of different per person. Let's say someone is working full time, they have a full time job. They're not going to be able to spend as much time as someone who is retired or someone who has money and they don't have to work full time for a living. And it's also going to differ from someone who is working part time and they're using their spare time, their evenings, their afternoons, their weekends to actually learn trading and it does give them a bit of an advantage. It means that obviously you can get the same amount of work done in a shorter amount of time, but it just does depend on how you are doing your backtesting, how you're doing your data collection. And you know, I've done videos on the channel which you can check out, which basically go over how I do my backtesting. So how I figure out which risk rewards to use, which stop loss size, which entry model, which overall confluence, which pairs to trade. Everything like this is something you need to look into. It's not a simple case of just going on Instagram, seeing some guy trading gold, so then you decide you're gonna trade gold. You might not even trade that pair well. So this is something you need to backtest as well. Different pairs, time frames, sessions. Once you have one selected, that's when you go full in on that one. And kind of coming on to that point a little bit further with how people get fed misinformation on social media, you should never trust everything you see online. You know, I could set up a demo account right now, make 50K profit, and then show you and say, oh, I made 50K profit. There's no proof of these people that are making profit and actually consistently profiting in their trading, then you should not take advice from any of these people. The people you should take advice from are people who have proven to be profitable. People who are, are not trying to say to you, if you buy this, you're gonna get rich quick. This is how much I made in a day. And if you wanna make the same and join whatever. If you wanna learn proper trading, you need to see the people who aren't pushing a lifestyle. People who are talking about how to actually learn to trade. You obviously see on YouTube, if you just search for us trading, the videos which will come up aren't really the type of videos which are going to help you in trading. If you look on my channel, you'll see the videos of where I'm showing my prop firm payouts or profitable days. Those will get 10 times the views of a video detailing how to start a trading plan, how to build a trading strategy, how to back test your strategy. These videos will maybe get 10K views, whereas a profit video, 50k 100k views you obviously see why people do it but if you're looking to learn how to trade properly then these aren't the sort of videos and people which you actually want to learn from you want to learn from the people usually they make money from trading so they don't need to do these flashy videos it's as simple as that you know i put up a screenshot on the screen of the last few months of my track record and you know, this is my personal trading account 
and it's on my effects book with a, a regulated broker as well and you know i'm at 40 percent in five months i can talk about this because i can actually trade and if i didn't have youtube if i didn't have the mentorship group or anything it doesn't matter because i make money from trading so moving on from talking about track records you need to focus on slow growth from the outset in your trading focusing on making percentage profits not monetary values so it sounds quite simple but this is something which a lot of traders overlook they'll start trading with a 500 a thousand dollar account and they'll just try and make as much profit as possible they're basically trying to simulate what they've seen other people actually do online with their trading so what you need to do is let's say you're trading at a thousand dollar account aim to make three to five percent per month it won't seem like a lot it's only going to be 30 50 dollars but you need to focus on percentage because if you can make a consistent amount of percent per month it means that once that scales up you're going to be taking the same trades you're just going to be making a lot more profit percentage wise it's exactly the same so all the principles all the risk rewards all your risk management is going to be identical but the money is just going to increase slowly with that and if you are focusing on the slow growth you won't be too eager to let's say you're going into prop firm trading go straight for a 400k account you're going to slowly work your way up the worst thing a trader can do is go straight into the deep end let's say you've been trading five months six months and you've had a couple profitable months obviously that's quite rare because six months isn't a long time but just for this example then you want to start a prop firm challenge and you go straight in with a 400k account firstly the challenge fee for one of those accounts is going to be quite a, quite a large amount of money and it's not really something you want to lose if you are a beginner trader and you're going to be seeing big losses and big wins so let's say you make a one to two that's eight thousand dollars are you going to be okay seeing that sort of profit on your on your mt4 if not don't do it if you think you're ready obviously you can go for it you can do whatever you want but my advice and what i personally did was i started with a twenty-five thousand dollar funded account i passed this i got a payout Obviously, it wasn't a huge payout. It was only like $1,000, but it meant that I've been through the experience of actually trading these funded accounts. I went through the challenge phase, the verification, the funded stage, and you get used to trading with larger account size because obviously at that at that time, I wasn't trading with 25K in my personal account. So going up to 25K was good. Then I went to 70K, 100K, 200K, 400K, and it's just scaled up since then. So this is something I'd definitely say you should do. Focus on slow, consistent growth, whether it be compounding into your personal account slowly or just your prop firms it's obviously a good way to grow capital these are definitely things which i think you should consider instead of just jumping straight into the deep end so the next point is more time on the charts doesn't mean more profit you need to focus on quality over quantity in this case i'm not talking about during the learning phase i'm talking about when you are actively trading a lot of people think the more time you spend on the charts looking for setups the better the setups are going to be and the more profit you're going to make i personally think this is the complete opposite of the truth when i'm having good trading months it will literally be one or two days of trading and during these days of trading i'm only on the charts for two three maybe four hours max and the majority of this time is managing positions let's say a break of structure has occurred i've looked at the trade i've got in the trade obviously this can take some time and then you have to manage the trade and if you're trading profitably with a good strategy it's going to be quite simple to get into the trade you see what you want you set a limit or you market execute your trade and then boom you have your stop loss set your take profit set and then all you have to do is wait for the trade to play out you don't have to sit there staring at the charts every single day going okay so there could be a setup here but there also could be a setup here there could be a setup on this pair there could be a setup on that pair it's not something you want to be doing let's say you're focusing like i recommend one pair, one time frame, one setup, and one session is very, very simple. You have a small window of opportunity to actually trade in. So let's say you're trading in London session and you have a very, very simple strategy. You log on, open the charts. Is there a setup? Is there a break of structure? If there isn't, you close the charts and you go about your day. It's as simple as that. And once you've reached a certain amount of profit in that month, that's when I usually start trading. If I make 5%, 5 to 10 percent profit i'm done for the month whether it's in the first two days of the month this is irrelevant if i've hit my profit target i'm going to stop trading just because there are 20 days left 20 trading days left doesn't mean i'm going to trade all 20 of those days i'm going to take my time you can do other things during those 20 days because you've made your profit there's no point risking all that profit to end up either break even or in a loss 
when you could just take your profit and be done money you didn't have before that month started so you got to be happy with these profits and with the one time frame one pair one session one setup i do believe this is the best way to go about your trading because let's say you're flicking through different pairs different setups different time frames human error can creep into your trading and also you can miss setups which are presenting themselves on one pair but you're too busy focusing on looking at another pair it can be a complete disaster. That's why I'll only ever use one pair at a time, one session, because it makes it a lot easier. You're not having to have full 100% focus for hours and hours and hours. You know, if you're training London and New York session, you can pretty much have all day staring at the charts, trying to find a setup. It's not something I'd want to do. One time frame makes it a lot easier because you don't have to flick through. You could have one time frame saying buy, you can have one time frame not looking good for a buy, then one could be completely different and saying a sell. You don't really want these conflicting views so one time frame kind of solves that issue and one setup makes it very very easy you go on the charts you know exactly what you see within a minute two minutes you can see whether there's going to be a setup or not in that session the more simple your trading is the easier it is to execute over and over and over again copy and paste your strategy and then boom hopefully you can become a fully profitable trader if you have any other tips for beginners be sure to leave them in the comments like the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one